PCR Imaging Wolves Madrid. And I'm joined here today by Rebecca Hahn and Madalina Garvey. Yes. So, Madalina, can you tell me what is it going to be about? What are going to be the topics covered along these days in Madrid? Um, so it will cover aortic valve disease, mitral valve disease, tricuspid valve disease, and multivalve disease. Um, and in each, for each valve, it will cover details of refined assessment, diagnosis of valve morphology, uh, type of valve disease, severity of valve disease, timing of intervention, and uh, choice of the type of intervention, as well as the guidance of intervention, the guidance of structural intervention for the valve. It sounds very interesting. I mean, there is certainly an unmet need on many sides for this topic because it's a cross section where many different uh, professions meet. Yes. So who do you intend it for? It's really intended for anyone on the heart team. I mean, we hope to really focus a lot on the on the imager. But in all honesty, uh, on our heart team, there's been a greater interest by the proceduralist, by the heart failure specialist, by even our uh, allied professionals to understand more about imaging and how we're making the diagnosis. And in terms of the type of the sessions, what, what kinds of sessions are you planning to have? The, the idea was to develop episodes. And so there's the aortic episode, the mitral episode, tricuspid episode, and then mixed valve disease episodes. And within those are different sections and different lectures, again, aiming to understand better the disease process, so the diagnosis and then management. And for aortic, we'll talk a, a lot more about the new uh, expanded indications, perhaps for transcatheter interventions. So um, it's all meant to be to cover the whole field of, of, of structural heart. What's interesting to me, Madalina, when I look to the program, is that you have dedicated sessions where you say imaging-based assessment of outcomes. So can you tell us more about that? So there are structural interventions where we need to assess the outcomes, immediate outcomes after the intervention, and imaging tells us whether we were right or wrong as interventionalists after the procedure. Yes, the assessment of the outcome is um, more difficult and special and different uh, following transcatheter intervention compared with surgical intervention uh, everybody is more uh, familiar with. So um, I think that um, uh, particular training and teaching in this regard is uh, pretty essential um, as the transcatheter techniques are flying and, you know, uh, becoming more and more uh, used in clinical practice. So we're trying to learn by imaging what is the optimal result mm -hmm. after a transcatheter procedure and implanting a device in the wall. That's very interesting and I, I guess you're learning by doing in, this, in these kinds of interventions. Yeah. And uh, Rebecca, uh, this is not going to be just talking. It's going to be also it's working on models. Hands-on training. Can you yes. tell us more about that? I mean, you mentioned the fact that we really have to know what we're doing in the procedures. I mean, it, re it really depends. The outcomes depend on the imager. And so we plan on having um, workshops where we'll do hands-on uh, simulation, work on computers, really to understand in depth the imaging required throughout the process of, of managing structural heart disease. So hands-on training, definitely, workstations, definitely, and I think that is a very good and practical way to educate in, on the, in this very field. So at the end, I would like to ask you both for your personal messages to our audience. So for me, um, as imager, and for both of us and all of us in the um, uh, team that has developed this program, um, it's very exciting that imaging is finally put in the spotlight uh, because imaging is so important um, in all type of intervention. Surgeons have learned that a bit earlier and now transcatheter intervention as well understands that it's all around imaging. Uh, from the interventionist to understand the disease and the procedure through imaging to us as imaging to know how to help them. Um, it, it is important. Really meant for the entire heart team, but focusing on the imaging aspect of that team. And will include, obviously, uh, not only lectures and interactive uh, case-based sessions, but also the workshops, which will allow people to have more one-on-one -on -one contact with faculty and ask their important questions. I would have uh, to close yeah. with the following message. Register as soon as possible since the registration is ongoing. PCR Imaging Wolves in Madrid. And there you will have education that combines theory with practice. There will be hands-on simulators, workstations for you to try to comprehend and practice all these 
sometimes complicated issues with interventional imaging, imaging and interventional cardiology. Thank you very much.